Okay, go ahead. So we're in with the little Andalusian this morning. We got him kind of looking at us. I just kind of dead on him. I don't want to get too excited chasing him away or anything like that because our goal is to get him to want to come to us, right? And a lot of folks might make a mistake right here when he left just to kind of get after him. And uh, I don't really want to do that to him just yet. I don't want to be punishing or correcting him. I want him thinking about coming. So yesterday we kind of introduced a little concept called the imaginary string. And I want you to watch this. When I step up to the front of him, and if he turns here, I might just turn, turn him back here. What I try to do is I'll try to reach out and catch his nose with an imaginary string and just kind of pull it. I don't want him getting scared and defense, defensive like he might need to strike out or hurt me or something here or defend himself. But watch here. I'll say, hey, follow this little imaginary string over here. Good boy. Here, follow this little string over here. Good boy. So we kind of introduced that to him a little bit yesterday. Here, follow this little string over here. Good. And then pretty soon, pretty soon he'll start watching for and responding to the cue to follow. And now don't. Good boy. Good boy. He starts to lean on me. I'm not gonna whack on him or anything here. He's gonna kind of follow me over here. And now don't. So he'll start watching for. There you go. Just kind of come over this way now. And I kind of move off in an arc shape. And now don't. There you go. So now I'll reintroduce the whip to him here. Just Hey, just kind of move yourself off from the whip. If he changes directions, I'll just give him a little correction here. And I want him to be herded away with the whip here. When I'm ready to call for him, I'm just gonna say, when I set this down towards your hind feet, just bring me to your eye. Now yesterday we had to, we had to do that several times to get him to engage. But he seems to recall it. Right now when the position of the whip comes back here, the hip should go away and the eye should come, not that way. I'll correct you. He comes down here, just bring me your eye. And then I might twirl clear out here so I make sure I'm getting the whip out to this way. Let it travel. Let's drop the whip down here to the hind. If he changes, I'll correct him. Ask him again for the hind feet to surrender, the eye to come in. Just towards this hip, please. I want the eye to come right there. So if I set this down here, very good. That's all I'm looking for is that little tiny uh, uh, response there. So if I come here, if I just put this towards your hind, the hind feet should move. I'll escort there. I'll give him that because the hind feet move first. What we want to be aware of is these three little lines. One that comes out of his shoulder and one at an angle from his hip. When I'm in front of this line, I'm communicating up front. If I'm at this little point or beyond, I'm communicating to his hip. 
sides. I'll try to go under his chin and kind of come up by his face here. Try to keep him from cutting me off on that right side. There we go. There you go. Ooh. Just try to stay out of striking distance there. Just try to stay to the side of him a little. There you go. And once I start in there, see, I'm committed to get in here and let him know all I want to do is catch you and walk away. So I'll just grab that cheek piece and kind of hold him. Be a little defensive there about getting his leg rubbed. He's not there. There, when he didn't pick his foot up, that's where I quit. I'll try him again. So, first thing I'm going to show this colt here is when I come when I come to the point of this triangle or a little bit beyond and step to my right when my eyes go to his hip he should move if he fails I may pick up this rope and twirl it and swing it and actually give him a little tap on the behind take a look show the rope twirl the rope there when his hip moved, I just went to neutral here. Loved on him for a second. Told him how smart he was. I'll step back. I'll take a look, show the rope. And right there, if he moves, I quit. Take a look, show the rope, twirl the rope at the hip. If he moves, I come to neutral, let him know I'm done with him. This side here is a little more touchy. But I want to get management of that hip before anything else. Mm. Hip with just my eyes. I take a look, reward the horse. Yeah. I don't try to control him through his face. Good. Come back. Okay, so look, show the rope, twirl the rope, reward the horse by throwing myself to neutral. Come in here, tell him how smart he is. We've got a little licking and chewing going on there. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to kind of get him start going left and right. So when I point to my left, that's all I want to do. I point to my left. I'll show him the rope. I'm going to twirl the rope at this shoulder. When he leaves, I'll just let him go. I want him watching for this. Go to my left, or I'll show you the rope. I'm going to twirl the rope out here, out here, till you go left. I let him go. Now right here, I'm just going to go after his hip. When he looked at me, I quit. Tell him how smart he is. Go to my left. Thank you. I'll go for his hip. Hip. Look at me. As soon as he swung to look, I just let go of him. Threw myself to neutral. Good oh boy. Just sitting to the right here. Go to my right, or I'll show you the rope. You'll be thinking left, because that's what we've been doing. Go to my right, away from the pressure. There you go. And go to my right, or I'll show you the rope. There you go. Hit. Try not to pull on his face. You go to my right. Go to my right. There you go. go back to my right. There you go. I don't want him scared. Go to my right. Very good. Give me your hip. Very good. I'll head on him here. Ooh, I'll rub him with the rope so he's not afraid of it. Now watch my right hand. When I send a horse to the right, go to my right, I'll show you the rope. When he goes, I let go with my right hand. Give me your hip. 
how much quieter he got. But I don't want to find myself pointing the whole time. Go to my right, let him out. Go to my left, my other left, there you go. He doesn't have to do the circle, he just has to show me he's thinking left here. here. Go to my left, or I'll show you, there you go. Go to my left, my other left, thank you. Go to my left, thank you. So there you go. He's just trying to figure out what we're asking of him here. Go to my left. Give me your hips. Very good. Ooh, a little cold. Ooh. So in all things horse, I want my horse to be watching for and responding to the tiniest cue I can give him. I don't want him reacting. I want him responding. I want to make sure I'm in the correct position before I ask for my eyes go to the hip. He should move his hip. I don't want to be all bent over for my eyes go to the hip. He should move the hip. I don't want to be all bent over and spinning and poking at him. I want him to respond to these tiny little changes in my, my eyes go to your hip. And that's when you should move. And go to my right. And I'll, when you do, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will let go. I'm going to drive the shoulder there. So it's not just him going to the right, it's all the rest of the right. Correct. Hit. So in, in this, in this, I'm asking for the shoulders to step right. Hip to swing out. And hip, hip. Shoulders to step left, left. There you go. Hip to swing out. Shoulders left, hip out. Very good. Okay, let's. What we worked on here in just you know a few minutes time was, can you move your hip with my eyes? Thank you. Can you move this hip with my eyes? Thank you. Can you go to my left quietly? Can you go to my right quietly? Move your hip when I tell you to move it. So we planted those seeds in his head. There's no sense blowing him up. He's doing a little process. We'll let him soak on that and kind of think about what he's done that's good. Plant those seeds, nurture them tonight, let him dream about it, come back, revisit it tomorrow, and expand tomorrow. That's my vote. As my friend John Ensign would say, the manana principle, we train for tomorrow, right, John? Okay. <laughs>